with the Lee County Extension Service. Today, I'm in Southwest Florida and looking at a major problem. This is a tree that is highly invasive and we call it the Melaleuca. Now it flowers about four or five times a year and it flowers in what I call episodes. What I've noticed is that if it's flowering in Fort Myers, chances are at the same time, it's going to be flowering in Fort Lauderdale. Let's take a look at the flowers. The inflorescence on the tree is really the invasive portion of the tree. The inflorescence has many florets and this is of course the current year flower. Last season flowers were produced and what was left behind is this composition of fruits and within each of these fruits remember each of these are fruits and each fruit contains seeds so within within each of these we have numerous seeds another way to identify this tree is by its leaves the leaves are very similar to another invasive species the early acacia it's also similar to the bottle brush tree. A single tree can produce as many as 200 million seeds per year. That's two-thirds the population of the United States. One tree, imagine billions of trees that are in the Everglades and throughout South Florida producing, well, let's just say it's bigger than the national deficit, okay? Much bigger. Melaleuca will grow to take over acres and acres of land and that is what has happened here. We're inside the den, the heart of a Melaleuca colony. Growth is wild and almost nothing else grows here. Follow me. That was the tour. Hope you got a good look. Look upwards and you'll see what's happening. The white ghostly structure of dead Melaleuca. Let's see how they kill these vermin. Come take a look. Some time ago, a professional pesticide applicator used herbicide and a little ingenuity to kill these trees. And what happened is, after chomping away at the papery bark, they got into the real wood. That's the real wood, you can hear it. And apply herbicide all around the circumference of this exposed wood. And voila, dead tree sometime later on. After you think you've killed the Melaleuca, this bad boy isn't going to give up. Look at this. Look at from the dead stump. See these? If you let them be, you're gonna have new tree. Look at this right here. See that? Ah. Actually, this looks like it was a limb that fell to the ground after they remove it. And now, it, if it has become a cutting, it's producing new growth and new tree. So even the fallen debris are still invasive. What to do? Spend billion more to get rid of this? You know what? As destructive as this is, it has a nice smell. Really oily smell. Not bad. We probably could make some shaving lotion out of that. After you've cleared the area of Melaleuca, and leaving only the good stuff like these pines and saw palmetto. Here's what you can do with the Melaleuca. The dead trees can be turned into useful mulch. It's flory mulch. 100% Melaleuca and certified to be nematode and even pest free. Here is the natural product. 
This even smells better than the oily leaf. This is mulch gold. Get rid of invasive and use their body parts to enhance the growth of other plants you want in your garden. Good deal. This is Stephen Brown, Lee County Extension Service. And remember, the only good Melaleuca is a dead Melaleuca. Oh, there's always something new to learn in the landscape.